I'm going to show you some of the work that I've been doing with Leonardo AI. One of the things that I've been doing is trying to get GPT-4 or just any version of ChatGPT to help make good prompts for it. So I've had some interaction with um, GPT-4 where I've been passing it some information to load it with, with all of this knowledge about what Leonardo AI is. And then from there I've said, hey, I'd like you to help me craft some prompts. and when it says, all right, I'll do that. And I'm saying specifically, hey, I'd like uh, you to help me use this model called Isometric Fantasy, which does these gaming um, asset models. So if you look down here, you'll see these types of things for like a video game are what you can create with this model specifically. And for, for video games, this is a, or of this type, right, where you would need a game asset like this, this is really super useful. So I said, hey, I'd like you to help me uh, build out some prompts for this and then I said I want a fantasy scene of ancient Rome for a game I'm making about the Roman Empire. So it gave me some prompts initially and what those prompts yielded me was not exactly what I would call very Roman looking. So um, some of these things they just they were they look like whatever any sort of medieval fantasy game. What I wanted was prompts to look more like this. So what I said was um, hey, give me these prompts, and then I just told it, hey, none of these scenes are Roman enough. They all just look like they could be at any point in time in England. And so from there, it gave much more specific prompts. I'm actually going to run a couple of them with you to show you kind of how it came out. So as you can see, we're getting very Roman-esque type structures from, from this point on. So this is, this is really good. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to say um, specifically... Uh, 3D V-Ray render. Let's go up here, throw that in there. Bustling Roman Forum with the statue of Julius Caesar. I'm interested to see how it'll do that. Um, let's see. Ancient Roman Domus House with one eight frescoes. Interesting. Okay, so definitely very Roman. I'm not sure if we got the statue. I think we kind of did. Yeah, so this is pretty good. Now these are really interesting because they're not quite, um, they're not quite what this model is, is usually passing, which is more like this. But that's okay though. Uh, these look a little bit more Roman than than the other ones, so that's cool. Let's see what else I can get. Um, we're gonna pass this one right here, and all of the things here I think are all up for being tweaked, right? So any of these we wanted to tweak, I think we could. And we could work on the size or this thing called prompt magic. And um, let's see, I'm gonna generate this and I'm gonna generate this with prompt magic. And we'll see what that does. We'll kind of look at the difference here. So we get ready for the second one. Okay, this is pretty good. Very cool, more of a sort of Colosseum type thing. Definitely like where this is going. Okay, wow. Really cool. I think this is with the prompt magic right here. Now, one thing you can always do is you can always view the generation info here and you can see the prompt details and you can see all of the specs for everything um, that were included in this and I can say hey let me go ahead and upscale this or what have you um, one cool thing about the prompt is it started citing specific uh, events and locations uh, in ancient Rome that I could use to generate the prompt so it's actually forcing the algorithm to understand things like uh, what a ancient Roman insula are which it says right there, it's an apartment building. But if you said Roman insula, I wouldn't have known what that meant. So the initial prompts that I was getting, not very Roman. When I asked it for clarity on GPT-4, I got a lot of clarity. So let's see right here. Um, this is really good. Definitely, yep, well. Let's throw some more in there. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through all these prompts because I asked it to give me 20. So I could just go through and I could see 
how those worked out. I'm going to throw in um, these ones right here. And he even calls Roman baths thermae. And it, it gives that, that term, which I think specifically feeds the AI, with a little bit more information on where to go. Yep, so definitely looking a lot more like a, uh, a Roman bathhouse. Very cool. Let's see. A Roman banquet. So not quite a banquet, but I think that's maybe a hard scene for this model right here, um, which is okay. Let's see what the most recent one came out as. Roman soldiers building a military camp. Um, it's not quite what I was looking for, but there's no guarantee that it's going to uh, do characters in this model. So that's one consideration here I had. All right, let's see this. Um, I'm going to see about this ancient Roman lighthouse. We'll try that one. Let's see how this one looks. Um, let's see about um, underground temple. And then one thing about Leonardo AI to keep track of is that you have um, tokens now that reset every three hours for me. And I think that might be a standard thing that everyone experiences. Now, when I said lighthouse, I'm not sure how ancient Roman this is. Some of this just turned out into looking more like a tower. But I think this right here, this is, this is, uh, some really good stuff, especially this. Awesome. Well, I think that this is um, kind of explaining how you can use GPT to uh, push off of this model. One thing I could do here is I could give it some more feedback for the prompts, and I could say um, that I want specifically, you know, whatever um, whatever values to be to be conveyed. I could be like, um, uh, provide more detail for this prompt. Okay, so I could be like, hey, I'm just make this prompt juicier, uh, expand it. So let's see. And then let's see how this works out. And this could be part of um, what we do. I'm going to do this prompt, the basic level one, and then I'm gonna do the one with more detail and we'll see which one we like better. I bet you we're gonna like this one better. So let's see what we get. Okay, so on this first one, okay. All looking pretty Roman. Here, we got a lot more detail, but it's not really quite what we were uh, dealing with in the beginning. But there is a lot more detail. So we, we, we definitely have some interesting things going on here. So I think that's a, an example of what um, this could look like. Now, if I want to upscale one of these images and I say, hey, I want this one. Um, five tokens uh, creative upscale HD upscale um, then I could go and do all of these different things I could say remove background interesting so I can do a lot with this um, so I can just say hey creative upscale I'll just push this one up I'll see how much better it gets when I do upscale it could be pretty cool but anyhow, I think that this gives you a good idea of how to use uh, GPT-4 and Leonardo AI. So I hope that this was helpful. This is kind of just an experimental process to show you uh, some ways that I'm exploring working with it. And obviously some really good um, things you could take out and use if you were building a game 
about ancient Rome that you wanted to, you know, look like this.